Listen up, Rangers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. Wait, wait, don't these usually go into super? My name's Arnaz. Preview that never was. But, but Steve, they'll get more views Preview over there. Preview that never was. For once, I want to go to the other Preview channel. Preview that never... <laughs> no, can't no, reach no, no, it. Not that one. There we go. The other one, push the other one. The other one's He's crap. special. Hey, hey, hey. I don't care what anybody... I don't want to talk about that package looks way more impressive than the one we have over here. I don't care what anybody says. I think that movie was acceptable. <coughs> Let's go to the figure, Steve. If you'd like me to throw something at him, make sure to hit that like button. <laughs> I'll be sure to do it. Every Each like, one. Every like button, I get slapped so randomly. I'll pop it up in a random video. We'll just live stream and be like, it got 15 likes. One, two, three. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what we have here is Arnold's. Arnold's all the time. Uh, we have the T800 from Terminator 2, uh, the 3D edition for mm, reasons. And the Terminator Genesis T-800 Guardian. Now, the funny thing is somebody asked us to do the Terminator Genesis one because they wanted to see the accessories and if it's worth buying. No. I don't know <laughs> I don't know how the 3D one got in here, but we'll just roll with it. Uh, if we're doing something, we're, we have to have something that people will click on so to that see. they'll click that as well. They'll just <laughs> check out this one. So we're trapping people pretty much, huh? Yeah, like if, if this if any video I've ever done is meant to be clickbaity, this would probably be the one. Which is odd because it's NECA figure, so like, why am I trying to clickbait stuff? But the funny, ugh, got a knife. The funny thing is, Steve, we're gonna have the two Terminators fighting, so it'll be like a movie scene. It'll get more clickbaits that way. Yeah. The other reason I want to do this for Geek Chest, because again, I put make this as a review that never was. So we can just keep going with this until we're done. I don't really have to edit as super hardcore. Or put hard details into it. Yeah, I don't have to do photos then. Like, God. <laughs> if I do photos, I have to find things to do pictures with with these guys. I don't want to do that. That sounds like way extra work. So here you go. You can see what they came with. You're welcome. Like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, what, is that what the heck is that thing? Uh, all right, now I'm just curious what this actually comes with. It looks like a cauldron. Oh, it's an arm. A what? It's battle damage. I like the cauldron better. It's got fuzz. Why does it have fuzz? <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, this was mint in the box, right? When you first got it. I think I had to just cut the tape. I'm so lost. All right. See, do you see why we usually do this for more fun? Because now we don't have to edit that part. We'll just leave it in. No, I would love that. <laughs> Regardless of what this turned out to be. Uh, uh. All right, so we get stuff. I'm going to get these guys out first before we get into the things. Because then... It, uh, hey, while I'm at it, go get me the wire cutter over there. You see it underneath the, the green thing you Yeah, the green thing you All right, we'll come back to you. We got, we got to make sure all the accessories are Hand it to me so I can cut him. separated. Cut him good. You cut him like he owes your money. He does for making me watch that movie. <laughs> he, he owes a lot of people money. Uh, all right. I, I still love you, Arnold. Oh, yeah, man. One of my favorite actors. Oh, God. Bad choices, though. <laughs> he needed to give up on that series after the second. Just walk away. I don't know. The third one had a chick that growed her boobs, man. You know how hard that is? Uh, it just takes some money, right? <laughs> it's more of an investment more than actually being something that requires effort. Well, I guess you have to put effort into the getting it, the money so you can get the bigger... Yeah. Anyways. I like the 3D one better in details already. I'm already going to say I like this because it's officially closer to what it would have been like in the movie. But I also hate it because this is literally just cardboard and I would probably wreck the crap out of this thing. Is it just cardboard? It's just cardboard. God bless it. But anyways. Um, Wait, you know what? We're going to set this Arnold aside for now. We'll come back to doing his accessories here in Do just a few. you have an extra head down there? I have all the heads. Giggity. But look at that angry stern face. He's like, well, I am here for a paycheck. It looks like he's trying to hold a pooping. Hey, man. I know he's getting older, <laughs> but I do like they did the hair really nice, though. It's got some nice frosted hair. Jacket looks pretty cool. You get some damage on the underside. Oh, you get some extra damage. Oh, don't even, they're hiding even, it on us. Yeah, you don't even get to see that one originally. That's fancy. With his T-shirt. Yeah, black. Is he flipping us off? Black khaki pants. No, it's a trigger oh, finger. Oh, no, trigger finger. I was about to say, damn mother... Oh, the trigger fingers. 
back of the coat not a whole heck of a lot going on but you get a little bit of like some gloss here to make it kind of look like the leather used to be in pristine shape but just got old yeah just got old really quick <laughs> eh, get out of your boxes just like arnold uh for his extra head you get more battle damage yeah but you actually see the t800 exoskeleton I like on the, the battle under damage. section oh. yeah it looks pretty good you get the cauldron Cauldron, battle That's damage scary. arm, the hairy cauldron. You get a shotgun with a laser scope on it. Some pissed off. He only comes with one weapon out of all the stuff. Yeah, he needed to like just have like the helicopter scene where he's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> need that. Uh, God, I don't even remember what weapons he used in the movie. To be honest, I don't remember. I just remember him using himself as a missile. That's really all you got for me. Like. I kind of burnt that movie out of my brain. <laughs> um, let's try to swap out the heads, though. Hey, you break it, you buy it, just so you know. I'll pay you the $2, whatever this thing's worth. It's fine. Come on. I, I think I don't. Eh, it's close enough. All right. So that's what it looks like when you have the head on. I like the battle damage one, Steve. If I was to buy this figure, this would be the way I would have it. Sitting down? Yes. Because, <laughs> like, this is the Arnold I would want to be clean. Yeah. Like, th this is my preferred clean Arnold. Genesis Arnold, I don't think I really care. So if there's a reason why I would be buying this figure, not because I like the movie. <laughs> I like the movie. I want it to be something different then. Like, granted, like, I'm not a big fan of Alien 3, but, like, I buy the figures. Like, some, the, I got, like, the alien and stuff. The dog, yeah. Yeah, and I have it posed more, like... Oh, that's a bad example because he doesn't really come with any accessories. I'm trying to think. <laughs> uh, but you guys know what I mean. Like, even if, like, it was, say it was, like, an Ultraman. Like, I'm not, like, Geed's okay. Yeah. But Geed's the one, like, I have, like, posing with his, like, beam and everything. And he looks, like, kind of weird. While, like, more of the, the Ultramans I really like, I try to, like, pose them Keep so them I can see original. them really good. I got you. Well, the other ones I'd more do, like, they're usually, like, battle poses and stuff like that. Uh, but, anyways. Moving on to the T-800 from the 3D Terminator 2. He gets his sunglasses. Which, that's all I want from him, is right there the way he looks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you get his jacket with some bullet holes. Can you move the jacket like the other one? Yeah. Underneath is can... just a black t-shirt. I wonder if he can remove it. All those muscles. Well, you can remove it, but you still going to have the jacket here on the arms. Should we experiment, Steve? On the Genesis one, let's see what we can do with him. You would still have the jacket on the arms. <laughs> so he's going to look like uh, Escanor from uh, <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins. Just like random cloth on his arms for reasons. Uh, but back of the jacket has some bullet holes there as well. Which I kind of... Uh, I don't know, you know if it's a complaint because it's hard to tell. Uh, back of the shirt looks like it's black, just black, black, which I understand 100%, but with the bullet holes there, it might have been kind of cool to be able to see some of the skin or maybe even the metal. Yeah, I feel like they missed out on that. They just kind of, like, painted bullet holes on there, right? No, they're actually, like, in the mold. But since you can, like, see through them, it doesn't really look like it goes through the jacket, except only in certain spots. But still, like, with the... These would just be like straight holes because shot with a bullet. You think you would see like some of the metallic huh. showing through then. And that might be something cool. Like just take like a little like Q tip or um, not Q tip, toothpick with some like silver paint. Just like dab the holes. You got his belt here with his. I can't remember if they were leather pants in the movie. I think they were. They're almost you, always leather pants. I yeah, know the first one were. Because you got like the black here with some browns. For the pants section, you got his boots here on the bottom. Overall, really nice looking figure. The articulation on these guys are always really nice too. For what they are. Yeah, which is really good to see. Again, not going to go over this super crazy because this is a view that never was, but you can pretty much pose them however you really need. Uh, for accessories, comes with a little pistol. You get the model shotgun yeah honestly my favorite shotgun like my favorite because it's just like cool that you just pump the lever and shoot it 
I always really love the look of this one. I used to have like the toy of this. Until I broke my mom's thermostat and she threw it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, when I was a kid. Uh, you also have the flower box here that you could put the shotgun in. I kind of think it's a fail a bit that I didn't have the flowers. Yeah, that's stupid. That's like, especially flowers. since you can open it up like a normal flower box. I think it would have been cool if they would have had some like flowers you could put in there with it. To kind of like have it hiding. But there is some transits in plastic here too as well. So, still pretty neat. I kind of wish this was plastic, though. I feel like they went up above and beyond on that box for no reason. Yeah, it's like it's cool that it came here, but I feel like if you're like adding this accessory to it, you probably should just add everything then. Yeah, it's either you have it or you don't. Man, come on. And then also comes with a head without the glasses, which I don't know why you ever would want this one on there. Like, uh, like it's pretty much battle damage. Or glasses. There's not really an option. <laughs> I feel like anyways. At least with Terminator Arnold's. Like, it's one or the other. Also, if you buy this figure, you can customize them to make be like Terrorizer. <laughs> can he stand? He's too old to stand, Steve. Yeah, he's just got a little bit of stiff joints. So, anyways, um, to conclude this, uh, both the figures are fine. Like, their articulation is great. They come with accessories, different heads. Gives you a lot of th variety for what you're buying. And these guys would have been, like, 20, 25 when they came out. I think I paid 19 bucks for the uh, Genesis one and 25 for the uh, 3D one. Yeah, which seems really reasonable to me. It's easily one of the better lines compared next to the Alien and Predator series. It's probably their Terminator stuff. Yeah, definitely. And then, I'd say Pacific Rim. No, oh, Turtles. Turtles, turtles. Is up though. turtles are all like they don't really get to make that many of them but what they do are always great <laughs> they put a lot of effort into it yeah especially the the big guys i haven't had any of the con ones yet we're writing that wrong very soon should be coming <laughs> in this month uh but definitely if you guys are into terminators and <laughs> genesis then these figures are really good for you to be acquiring but what do you guys think? If you guys picked up Terminator, did you guys actually enjoy Terminator Genesis? Let us know in the comments section below. I did. It was an Arnold movie. I had to like it. What'd you say? <laughs> hey. What'd you say? <laughs> it's going to cost you 20 bucks to replace it. I think you're finding the clearance aisle. <laughs> eh, eh. Pay the 20. <laughs> Anyways, help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe become a ranger today. See you guys in the next video. Hey, Steve. Bye -bye. We forgot the comparisons. What comparisons? I don't own any other Terminator stuff. You gotta compare him to the next closest monster. Here, put him next to the Genesis. They're almost the same height. <laughs> I know. Here, I'll grab a NECA figure. Here's a Predator. <laughs> Who towers over him. And Jesus. also the same price. Also doesn't want to stand right now, so I'm just gonna hold on to him. There you go. Like now, can we conclude the video? Yeah, I cut his head off. <laughs> No! I'm at Gabra. I wasn't sure which head you wanted. I like Gabra. See you later, guys. Bye bye. He's too strong. <laughs> there we go.